Having a well-stocked kitchen with plenty of heart-healthy foods at your fingertips makes meal planning and meal preparation on the Ornish Reversal Plan easy. To grab a quick snack, make an easy meal, or readily create one of the hundreds of reversing recipes we have provided for you. Let's walk through the basics of stocking your kitchen. First, let's take a trip to the grocery store. Let's start in the produce section. A great way to think about produce is to have your weekly regular staples on hand and then you can add in your seasonal fruits and vegetables. Some staple items to buy regularly are lots of organic greens. The darker and more variety of colors, the more nutrient dense. So for example, kale, cauliflower, broccoli, beets, cabbage, tomatoes, spinach, apples, oranges, bananas, and berries are great staples to have on hand. And from the dry produce section, onions, potatoes, and garlic. Grains are a staple to the Ornish way of eating. You just need a small variety to have on hand, and you can buy them in small amounts to ensure their freshness. Some great grains to have are quinoa, barley, farro, short and long grain rice. You can buy pre-made frozen meals. Just make sure that you check the label to make sure that the ingredients meet the guidelines. It's also nice to have some staples on hand from the freezer, like frozen fruits and some frozen vegetables, such as spinach, corn, shelled edamame, mixed diced vegetables, peas and berries. These frozen vegetables will aid in speedy meal preparation and for when you don't have time to go to the grocery store. We all love pasta, and a great way to include pasta is the whole grain versions. Keeping them on hand is a great way to ensure that they're always available for you. We like to think of refined white pastas as an occasional treat, but keeping other ones on hand, such as brown rice pasta, whole wheat pasta, gluten-free pastas, soba noodles. You can also include bottled tomato sauces, canned tomato sauces, marinara sauces that are non-fat or low-fat as long as the ingredients meet the guidelines. Think of tofu as a cheese made from the milk of the soybean rather than from an animal product. Tofu lends itself to a lot of different wonderful flavors. It's very savory, delicious, and has a wonderful flavor profile. It's very satisfying. Some go-to tofu items include silken tofu for sauces, desserts, thickening, and dressings. You can also include tempeh or firm tofu that's already been baked or smoked, or you can bake or smoke yourself to include as your main protein. While the Ornish program is vegetarian, you can include a variety of non-fat dairy products such as non-fat cottage cheese, non-fat sour cream, non-fat milk, non-fat cream cheese, and non-fat yogurt. Always get the plain yogurt so as to limit the added sugar. You can always add your own fruit later. Beans are a critical source of protein for vegetarians. Beans are delicious, nutritious, savory, and are now more readily available than ever in lots of different varieties. A few key beans to have on hand are dried or canned garbanzo beans, black beans, white beans, split peas, lentils. Having vegetable stocks to make soups and stews and gravies and for braising and for poaching enhances the richness of these dishes. Most packaged versions have too much sodium. A great store-bought stock is better than bouillon vegetable base. Of course, you can always make your own vegetable stock. Condiments are what turn regular ingredients and dishes into creative and flavorful creations. One night you might have vegetables and rice with soy sauce. Another night you might have rice and vegetables with a chili tomato sauce. Some go-to condiments are whole grain mustards, low sugar ketchup, nutritional yeast, chili sauce, tamari, soy sauce, flavored salts and vinegars, dulce and nori flakes. We recommend using a variety of fresh and dried herbs and freshly ground spices, such as cinnamon, cumin, cayenne pepper, nutmeg, and other types of peppers, such as black pepper, red pepper, green pepper, or white pepper. And for herbs, parsley, rosemary, thyme, sage, oregano, and basil. Sugary foods are not included in this program, but there are lots of great alternatives to sugar that you can use to brighten and sweeten things up.
For moderate use, we recommend stevia, agave, maple syrup, and raw sugar. Now that we have all of our groceries, let's go and stock our kitchen. Now here is our beautifully stocked pantry and refrigerator. Let's take a look first inside the fridge. Notice all the different colors and how vibrant natural foods are. You can organize your food into food types. Here we have our fruits and vegetables. This shelf holds our milks and beverages and taller condiment bottles. We can keep our proteins, such as tofu and tempeh, together. Here we can have the egg whites where the eggs are normally stored. And here we have our non-fat dairy items. You can see here how these condiments look on the door of a refrigerator. Notice how you can see everything. There is space between the items. Nothing is getting squished or lost to expire. This is the result of the importance of freshness. This program looks and feels fresh and alive. Now let's take a look at our pantry, otherwise known as dry storage. While the pantry is a great place to stock up on items you don't need to buy regularly, these foods can still go stale. A great way to store bulk items is with well-sealed glass jars. These are readily available and inexpensive. Here we have our grains and beans in our glass jars. Here we have our bottled and canned food items. Here we have our to-go snacks like fat-free crackers. It's nice to have something you can grab and eat when you don't have a lot of time to prepare foods. So now you have a fresh and vibrant and healthy kitchen.